Angelique. I have two real quick. Okay. Jake says he has a really good arm and they practice fakes and has lobbied for potentially running a fake. And I'm just wondering about that. And also, I was wondering just generally, is this the most balanced you, you've seen in special teams since you've been in Michigan? Um, Hunter, Hunter, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in terms of the first question, we're going to keep Jake just kicking. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they always want to do something. You got like Chuck Bilyanga asks if he can play tight end. You got <laughs> kickers trying to throw. You got, you got lineback. One of the linebackers asked, said that he could onside kick the other day. <laughs> they, 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 these guys are nuts. Uh, uh, so maybe that's part of the vibe, yeah. right? Everything yeah, they, they just love, they love, uh, they love football and they, they're always, it, it is amazing sometimes the things that one guy can do. Like Gentry was a great punter. Uh, no one ever got to see it, but he could punt really well, which is fascinating. Um, but anyways, on the, on the second part of the question, I think, uh, I don't know if I can compare it to other years, but at least in terms of the kicker and punter, I don't think that there's been a point where we've had uh, two guys both playing this consistently well. We've had guys playing great, but I don't know if that we've ever had both guys in both spots playing this well all the time. So uh, that's a credit to them and, and the work that they've put in over, over time. And, and uh, the rest of the guys in the, in the four phases or the six phases, they, like I said before, they, if it's the punt team, yeah, everyone believes in Brad and, is, and they love blocking for them and they love covering punts when the ball's up there for four and a half seconds, five seconds. Uh, you look at the play that Joey B made in the game with the recovery, the thing that's cool about that is that nearly the whole punt team was down there inside the 10 yard line and was you know, totally prepared for that type of thing to happen and that's not really the norm. Uh, you don't see guys always covering and always just going hard for the entire play, that's kind of a throwaway play sometimes when you're punting that close to the end zone, it's assumed there's not going to be a return, so guys kind of walk down the field and we had darn near everybody right there on top of the ball when it happened. That just speaks to the belief that they have in each other and, and uh, the, the fun that they have you know, playing on special teams. Ryan, have you noticed anything different about how Jim has approached this season in, in terms of his energy and enthusiasm? Uh, no, I have not. He, I've known him for a while. I don't. I, <laughs> he's he's been pretty pretty uh, enthusiastic uh, as long as I've known him. Um, I think that, that that's probably a. Uh, I would suspect that's a story that people would like to write, but I I wouldn't be able to like substantiate that at all because it's he's he's crazy about football. He's crazy about getting better. He's uh, always positive. He's. Uh, all he cares about is his family and Michigan football playing really well and, and getting better and, and getting the most out of guys. So I, I don't think that that's uh, that that part of it's different. I think that some of the, the scheme things we're doing, some of the uh, personalities of different parts of the building uh, that have come in, yeah, they're different. The players, you know, they're older, they're better. And in some cases, they're different. But I, I don't think that his approach or leadership necessarily has been has been very different. My personal opinion. Is there anyone I forgot? Chris, you get the last one. Chuck had good hands. Uh, I have not given him the opportunity <laughs> to back that claim up. Uh, now we'll see. Maybe. <laughs>